Hi everyone, I'm excited to bring you OPI's upcoming Holland collection. This is the collection releasing February 8th and is OPI's Spring 2012 collection. It includes 12 shades and each of these costs $8.50. You can buy these at a lot of beauty stores including JCPenney, Trade Secret Stores, and Ulta. As the name suggests, the collection is inspired by Holland, the landscape, the windmills that are there. So you have a mixture of very bright and vibrant colors and then more neutral and wearable colors. In this video, I'm going to look in depth at each color and show you how it applies on the nails. Please make sure to check allurabeauty.com. I will have full photographs of the colors applied to the nails and a review of how well these nail polishes perform. So the colors we have here from left to right are Did You Ear About Van Gogh? Thinks a Wind Million? Wouldn't you like to know? I have herring problem. I don't give a Rotterdam. And Gouda Gouda Two Shoes. So as usual, OPI is doing a lot of plan words with the names for these colors. If you want to see exactly what the names are spelled out, because sometimes I know it's hard to gather how the name is actually spelled, make sure to just check out the reviews on AmaloriBeauty.com and I will have all of the names fully written out. For the first set here, the colors are Arolo in the Hague, Red Lights Ahead Wear, Kiss Me on My Tulips, Petal Faster Susie, Dutch Just Love OPI, and Vamsterdam. I'm going to start by swatching the more neutral colors. This color is Did You Ear About Van Gogh? This is a creamy bisque color. So with one layer, it isn't quite opaque and so has an uneven finish. You're going to want to apply another layer. So I'll let this dry and show you what two layers looks like. Here's layer two. So you get a nice opaque and even finish. This is a great color for everyday wear because it is a neutral color. Okay, so there you have Did You Ear About Van Gogh with two layers. Next up is Thinks A Wind Million. This is a sea green color. And you will definitely want to apply more than one layer. Here is a second coat applied. I think this is a pretty typical sea green color. I've seen this in other lines and even I think with OPI's other collections um, the Pirates of the Caribbean collection is coming to mind so I will check for you if there are any dupes and I will put that in the written review on AlluraBeauty.com. Here you go with two layers. So there's Thinks A Wind Million up close. Here is Wouldn't She Like to Know. This is a chocolate brown color and it has golden shimmers in it. Okay, that's one layer. You might actually be able to get away with one layer here if you want more of a translucent finish. It's actually quite pretty this way, as long as you're able to work with the polish and kind of even out the surface. I'm going to apply a second layer so that brown becomes much more rich and you get an opaque surface. And the golden sparkles are very, very pretty. So this one is a little more unique. The brown color itself is not that unique, but with the golden shimmer in it, 
It makes this color more distinct. So there's Wouldn't She Like to Know. Here is I Have a Herring Problem. Here is the first layer. It's kind of weak in pigmentation, um, definitely not opaque in finish, so I would definitely suggest putting more than one layer for this color. And OPI says this is a green-blue, but there really isn't any green hue to this color. It's a sky blue with a lot of silver shimmers. So here is I have a herring problem up close. Next is I don't give a Rotterdam. Here is the first layer. I think in the bottle and also on the nails, this color is very similar to the one that we just looked at, which was I have a herring problem. This color has a little more gray in it and is a little lighter, just a little paler of a blue, but also has a lot of silver shimmers in it. Here is the color with two layers. And here's I Don't Give a Rotterdam up close. And next is Gouda Gouda Two Shoes. OPI describes this as a robust rose. I think that's fairly accurate. This has a hint of brick, a light brick color in it. And actually this color is very opaque just on one layer. You definitely wouldn't need to apply two unless you really wanted to has a very nice, even finish. Here's a second layer. It does deepen the color a little bit, brings out that brick a little more. So here's Gouda Gouda Two Shoes. We'll move on to the brighter colors, starting with A Roll in the Hague. This is a very, very bright orange. It shows just a hint of unevenness with one coat. You could probably get away with one coat if you're in a rush, or you just don't want to wait for two coats. Here's a second layer. So here's a roll in the Hague, a very bright and vibrant orange color, great for springtime. Next is Red Lights Ahead, Wear. Here's the first coat. Very vibrant red, slightly orange leaning. OPI says it's a coral packed red, which I think it's true. It's, it's the color of those flaming coral flowers, if you've ever seen one of those trees. This gives a very even finish with just one coat. Almost completely opaque. I'm gonna apply a second coat to show you. Next is Kiss Me On My Tulips. This is a hot pink color. It's a cool toned or blue based pink. And it actually has really nice um, opacity just with one coat. So you definitely could get away with just putting one layer on and then going out the door. You're gonna apply another coat just to make sure that the finish is completely opaque.
Next is Petal Faster Susie. My nails are getting a little stained at this point, but we just have three more colors, including this one to go. So this is a pink with a little bit of lavender, and it has light pink and silver pearls. And this is definitely a translucent color. It's very, very pretty and very wearable also. I'm going to apply a second coat. So it brings out that pink color a lot more, but it still has a translucent finish to it. I really like this color because you can wear it with just one layer and it's very, very subtle and still very pretty. Or you can build it up and have a much more pink color with a more intense shimmery finish. Next is Dutch Just Love OPI. This is a deep plum with a lot of purple and gold shimmer in it. I'm going to wait for this to dry and apply a second coat. You can probably get away with one coat, but in order to have it be completely opaque, you do need two. And last up is Vamsterdam. This is very deep wine purple. And as you can see, it's pretty translucent with one layer here. And it has a very, very subtle silver shimmery finish. Here's layer two. Really deepens that purple color. And this polish has even more finely milled shimmers in it, so you get almost this chrome finish to the surface of the polish. But it is very, very subtle. All right, so there you have OPI's Holland Collection for spring 2012. I like these colors. I think they're very spring appropriate, and yet OPI has balanced out the spring colors, which are very bright and vibrant, with neutral colors that you could wear every day. I don't think they're all particularly unique colors. You can find duplicates in other brands and even within OPI itself, I feel. The three most unique colors, I think, are Wouldn't You Like to Know, which was that deep chocolate brown with golden shimmers, Petal Faster Susie, which was that translucent pale lavender pink that when you layered became more opaque, and Vamsterdam because it has that very subtle chromatic finish. If you would like to see more photographs of these polishes, please check out allurabeauty.com. And once that post goes up, I will put the link down in the bottom bar. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.